A growing number of people are embracing veganism for a variety of reasons, health, animal welfare, and the environment. And Hollywood A-listers are no exception. In a two-part series, find out which celebs are vegan and why they decided to ditch animal products for good. Number 13, Liam Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth went vegan in 2015. After a press tour for the science fiction series, The Hunger Games. There's 24 of us, scale, only one comes out. Yeah, and it's gonna be you. Hemsworth got sick with the flu. He told Ask Men that he reached out to his vegan Hunger Games co-star, Woody Harrelson, for advice. Woody Harrelson told me that I should try eating raw vegetables. He's got more energy than anyone I've ever met, along with the nicest guy in the world. So I tried it out. Since then, I've felt amazing and have been eating that way ever since. Liam Hemsworth loves eating vegan for health reasons, and he has no problems keeping fit. He even convinced his brother Chris Hemsworth to try a plant-based diet while fitness training for the film Thor. Oh, kind of both like fire. The star is also conscious of animal cruelty. He told Men's Fitness magazine that the more he became aware of the horrors of the animal agriculture industry, the more he couldn't eat meat. Hemsworth has also rocked cruelty-free looks on the red carpet, along with his wife and fellow vegan, Miley Cyrus. The couple attended Good Day USA's gala in January. Hemsworth was accepting an award for his roles in The Hunger Games and Independence Day resurgence. I feel pretty good about getting one of these fighters and blowing them out of the sky. And wore a vegan suit by luxury menswear brand Brave Gentleman. He also wore vegan leather shoes and a belt. Vegan fashion was at the center of his wedding to singer Miley Cyrus too. Cyrus has been vegan since 2015 as well and wore a made-to-order ivory silk satin gown by Vivian Westwood on her wedding day, paired with white satin shoes by vegan brand Cult of Coquette. On Instagram, Miley shared a candid photo of her and her sisters Noah and Brandy, diving into the serving dishes of vegan food at the wedding. Cyrus also shared a Valentine's Day shout out to Liam by sharing a wedding photo that gives us major vegan couple goals. Number 12, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is a longtime vegan. According to animal rights group PETA, people for the ethical treatment of animals. He first ditched dairy in his 20s when a woman on a bus diagnosed his streaming nose and acne as lactose intolerance. The star now embraces a mostly raw vegan lifestyle, meaning he has ditched meat, eggs, dairy, and strays from processed and cooked foods, and sugar. The 57-year-old actor credits his vegan diet for making him look 10 years younger. Well, if you think about it, the, the strongest animal pound for pound in nature is, is the ape. Is the whale. Right? <laughs> for Harrelson, diet is crucial for his energy levels. He told InStyle magazine, I eat vegan, but I mostly eat raw. If I have a cooked meal, I feel my energy drop. So when I first started shifting my diet, it wasn't as much a moral or an ethical pursuit, but an energetic pursuit. The star is passionate about the environment too. In 2017, he starred in a Meatless Monday campaign with Paul McCartney. A third of all cereal crops and more than 95% of soy is turned into feed for farmed animals. One day a week can make a world of difference. Encouraging people to adopt meatless meals once a week in an effort to slow climate change. Number 11, Maggie Q. Maggie Q went vegan nearly 20 years ago. The Divergent series and Mission Impossible 3 actor nice job. Thank you. ditched animal products after attending a concert in Hong Kong where she met with a PETA volunteer and learned the negative effects that animal agriculture has on the environment. Discussing sustainability, the star says, one of the things that is missing from political discourse, from policy, from government, is the fact that the leading cause of carbon emissions in the world is animal agriculture, and no one is talking about it. This is the real issue that is driving climate change. When we do feel the weight of the world, and, and truly the weight of the world depends on us, you know, it depends on our choices, and I wish that people would pick up a book or watch a documentary and understand that their choices can really make a difference. She also speaks up for confined marine mammals, using her Instagram account to advocate for empty the tanks worldwide. 
For more than 50 years, animals have been used in horrific and painful tests for cosmetic products. Today, modern alternatives to animal testing are available and used by hundreds of cruelty-free companies. Maggie Q has also advocated for the Cruelty-Free Cosmetics Act, a bill that passed in California which bans the use of animal tests on cosmetic products. Maggie Q is set to star in Slice of Life, a forthcoming documentary that explores the growing popularity of vegan food across the globe. Number 10, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix has been vegan for 40 years. On a fishing trip as a kid, he and his siblings wanted to go vegetarian after seeing how fish were killed. He told Collider, I guess to stun them, they were throwing them against the side of the boat. It felt like a real injustice. I just thought it was such a gross abuse of power in a way. I think that during that moment, we knew we were not going to eat meat anymore. His family dished meat and fish, and went vegan shortly thereafter. Phoenix has produced powerful documentaries on veganism, such as 2017's What the Health and 2005's Earthlings. He narrated the latter, a documentary that opens the viewer's eyes to the ongoing cruelty in the animal agriculture industry. All of us are considered Earthlings. Warm or cold-blooded, mammal, vertebrae, or invertebrae, bird, reptile, amphibian, fish, and human alike. He also narrated 2018's Dominion with actor Rooney Mara, a documentary that explores the various ways animals are commodified in Australia. Phoenix is a vocal animal rights activist. I've been vegan practically my whole life, and I don't use animal products, I don't use leather. I thought that I was avoiding wool. I never knew that suits were made of wool. He has supported the wool-free movement in PETA's 2018 campaign for New York Fashion Week. Number 9. Rooney Mara Rooney Mara is a self-proclaimed ethical vegan. She has been on and off vegetarian since the age of 9. What are you doing? Are you doing that? Very encrypted. Yes. But committed to veganism about 7 years ago after seeing videos of tortured animals in the animal agriculture system. Mara is ethical in what she eats and in what she wears. The star started a vegan clothing and accessories label in 2018. The label features high-quality vegan materials, such as faux leather. Mara told Vogue, In fast fashion, you can find faux leather boots that are really cheap. But while it's cruelty-free in the animal sense, I didn't necessarily know where those things were made or if they were cruel toward humans. Mara narrated the vegan documentary Dominion alongside Joaquin Phoenix. The pair have been a vegan power couple since 2017. Number 8. Natalie Portman Natalie Portman is an outspoken advocate for animals and most recently appeared in a PETA video about empathy. Decades ago, one man articulated the plight of animals so boldly that the modern world couldn't ignore him. His name was Isaac Bashevisinger. You may also recognize her voice as the narrator for the 2018 documentary Eating Animals, based on the 2009 book by novelist Jonathan Safran Fower. You come across these steel masterpieces, all brought together in the most ingenious ways to produce more and more. Recently, I've produced a documentary, Eating Animals, which hopefully you will get to see soon. Um, and it's a, a look at the factory farming system and problem in our country. Natalie Portman has been a vegetarian since the age of nine, but Fowers' book influenced her decision to go vegan eight years ago. On the set of her recent film, Fox Lux, Portman requested a 100% vegan wardrobe. This is a culmination of my life's work so far. I was under a lot of stress after my accident, but that's what this show is about. It's about rebirth. Designer Carrie Langerman was thrilled to take part in creating vegan costumes. She has also worked with award-winning vegan actor Rooney Mara on vegan costumes. Part two will be dropping next Tuesday. Can you guess who will be featured? Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe and hit the red bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.